Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare a field sample location map. Suppose you went to field and you collected some photographs and that photographs you want to show on your map. So how we can able to show that that we're going to see today. So I have collected a latitude and longitude of that location and I'm interested to show that photographs on these locations. Okay, I'm having latitude, longitude, and also I'm having the photographs. So <clears throat> on this latitude and longitude, how we can able to show these photographs. So it is very easy for that what we need to do. We just need to go to arc map. Okay. So in the arc map, we need to add our shape file. So where we can able to get the shape file. So suppose you want an any shape file, you just visit our channel Vikas Gada Mode. In that there are many videos. In that you can able to see if you want to download any particular shape file so you can download it from here otherwise if you want to download for the any different parts of the world you can use diva js website okay diva js shape file is there so in the diva js shape file you can able to download the data by country okay so you just need to select your country desired country okay where you are living and after selection country you need to select an administrative area so once you click on the ok it will show and download options once you click on the download you can able to download the shape file for the whole country in that there is a state shape file will be there district shape file will be there so whatever your desire shape file you want you can take from it so after adding this shape file okay we need to add this latitude and longitude here on this map so this lat long we need to save as a CSV file format. So just click on the file. Then save option is there, save as. And click on the browse option. So I'm working in this field survey map. So I will click on the field survey map. And here I will save this file as a CSV file format. Okay. So I will add as a CSV and just click on the save. So once it is save as a CSV file format, we'll go to arc map, just click on the file, then add data and add XY data. So from here, we need to browse a location file where we just save this as a CSV file format. Click on the browse. So I'm working in the field survey map and this is the lat long CSV file. I will just click on the add and by default it is taking this geographical coordinate system if it is not taking we just need to go edit okay in the edit there is a geographical coordinate system and world and there is a wgs 984 just click on okay so this geographical coordinate system will add here and just click on the okay and again click on the okay so now that locations we have added here okay what are the locations we have selected it is added here so we can convert this as a we can convert this file as a shape file format this is right now in csv file format so we can convert it just select it data and export data option is there from here i will export a desired location where i'm working so i'll save in the field survey and here i will add as a lat long shape file okay just click on the save and just click on okay so do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer just click on yes okay so this csv file format now we don't want i can remove from here so now i'm having a latitude and longitude at that location and i'm interested to add this photograph at that location okay so for that what we can able to do we'll go to map layout okay here is the option there are two options are there okay one is layout view and another is a data view right now we are in data view we'll just click on the layout view okay so once i'll click on the layout view i can able to reach the layout view okay so what are the portion you want to show on your map that you need to adjust okay what are the portion you want to show so after that now you want to add a desired photo here okay so 
you can able to add a photograph okay before that i will just follow this okay and i can add a base map here so like i will select here as a any base map so after adding a base map we can add a photographs here okay to add a photographs there is a option insert in the insert there is a picture option is there picture so just click on the picture so i have kept my photographs here so we can select a photograph and just click on the open option is there okay so like i will select this and click on the open so we can reduce the size of this okay what are the size we want according to that we can reduce and now suppose this photograph is belong to this location so <clears throat> we will just add a photograph first and then we'll show by arrow okay so like this one and again go to pictures take another photograph you can reduce the size of it so we can adjust accordingly that okay so after that we will add a third photograph so just reduce the size okay so i am adding to this location and the fourth just insert add pictures and this i will take so like this what are the photographs you want to add you just add here okay so this portion i don't want so i can increase the size of it okay for a few minutes i will just off this i will just zoom the layer okay so after that we can shift it little bit wherever we want to shift and from this we can move our map okay so just move to a desired location you can increase the size of it this way we just need to select a location and after that we can show this connection by arrow so you can just take arrow from here just click on the draw tool okay this is drawing tool just right click here and you can able to add this draw tool so after that we can able to select a line from here okay so this location is belong to this and we can just go to properties and change symbology and select arrow here okay so after that you can take another one just go to properties and change symbology so like this we just need to connect all the locations so after adding this we will again start our this base map okay and now we can provide a latitude and longitude to this map so just click on the layer properties go to new grids and select here next i want just graticles so i'll select the graticles and next i just want the labels only and how much distance you want in one latitude to another latitude i will keep by default just click on the next next finish and apply so after applying just click on the okay so the lat long is added but it is not visible so we can increase the size of it just go to properties 
and in the properties in the label option we can increase the size 12 then we can do bold then left and right latitude we can apply as a vertical okay apply okay so when you add a base map that time it is little bit taking time okay so this way very easily we can able to prepare and field sample location map so suppose you want don't want the sources or all then you can click on the dynamic text and just click on the service layer credits you can remove this and you want to add a north arrow legend title scale bar so just click on the scale bar and select your desired scale and go to properties you can change to kilometer meter apply okay and okay so i just want two decimals okay i can go to properties and here number of divisions is four i will apply as a two after that i will add a north arrow here just shift it So now we have ready to export this. If you want to add anything to this map, you can add from the insert sections. If you want to add a more pictures or title, okay, if you want to add a title, you can add as a title. That is a field location map. Just save it. Okay. Just right click properties. Apply. Okay. Now we can go to properties and we can increase the size of it. Just change the color. Then you can increase the size of it. Okay, apply and okay. Okay, so this way uh, you can able to prepare and field location map very easily. So now how we can able to export this that we're going to see. So like just click on the file and after click on the file, there is an option export, export map. So I will save in the same folder by the name of field map and just click on the save. We have save file this as a JPG file format and now we'll open the JPG file from here and just click on it and you can able to see the field map which we have prepared. So these locations and these locations. So it is very easy to prepare a field sample location map. So this is a basic map. We can prepare some advanced map as well. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.